Well, if you happen to be awake early this morning around 2.30, you would have caught a pretty spectacular solar event. Yeah, the Aurora Borealis made an appearance across New England skies due to a strong geomagnetic storm. Meteorologist Katie McNeil has more details. Katie? A severe G4 geomagnetic storm was observed across southern New England this morning with conditions expected to persist this evening as well across parts of the country. The strength of this storm allowed us to see very vivid colors from the Aurora. Folks heading out early this morning to view the Perseid meteor shower got a surprise bonus when Aurora activity started to pick up across our area. I spoke with North Attleboro resident Perry Dunham, who says he happened to be up around the peak of the display, not aware it was happening until he picked up a strange frequency on his ham radio. I'm a ham radio operator and turn my radio on to see, because you know, of course I want to see who's up at 2.30 in the morning, if anyone's around to talk to. And I heard a really distinctive tone to the signals on the radio. Um, and immediately recognized it as auroral propagation. He quickly headed outside and was able to catch the aurora for what he says was a fantastic display coupled with the meteor shower. I have not seen anything this vivid. Um, maybe 30 or 40 years ago, there was a display that it was very muted. Um, it was more the racing kind of white light uh, sort of display. This was just spectacular color. I'd never seen anything like it. If you miss this opportunity to see the Aurora, there will likely be other chances in the coming months. As we are entering the peak of the 25th solar cycle, an enhanced solar activity is expected in the coming months. This activity is still likely to be uh, chances for what we're experiencing now continue all the way through this year, into next year, and even into the year 2026. And with all this much more activity, I mean, Friday we had put a, a post out there about the largest sunspot number in two decades. And Sean says increased knowledge about these events will better prepare folks for the potential impacts a strong geomagnetic storm could cause, such as technology interference. In the Weather Yard, I'm meteorologist Katie McNeil, 12 News.